my channel Karina Star Tarot. Today I will be doing a reading for the star sign Capricorn. Please bear in mind that this is a general love reading so take what resonates for you and leave what does not. Please don't forget to hit the like button and to share this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel remember it's free and if you'd like to donate to this channel or purchase a private reading from me just click on the links in the description below this video thank you so let's see what's in store for Capricorn in February 2020 so I've already pre-shuffled the cards but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera and I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck for this reading So I will be reading the energy from the cards, so I could be picking up on your energy, your partner's energy, a member of your family's energy or a friend's energy. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. I'm also going to select two cards from a lovely deck called Nature's Whispers. Beautiful deck. And again, I have already pre-shuffled these cards, but I'm always like to give them a little quick shuffle for you on camera. Just sort these cards out. And one more card, Nature's Whispers. then I am going to select a couple of cards for you from the Romance Angels and again I've already pre-shuffled this deck but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera Right, let's begin. So, starting off with the Ace of Swords. And we add the Queen of Wands. The Justice card. Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. The High Priestess, and I'll reveal this card a little later on in the reading. So we're starting off with the Ace of Swords. 
This is air energy, so you could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. So with, with this big sword, it could be that you have discovered truth, found out something, or it could be you. Um, you could be, maybe you want to tell someone something, you know, a truth about a situation. Um, and you might not mince your words. You might, those words might be harsh words. Um, or, you know, they could be, you know, heartfelt, you know, um, emotionally, you know, like um, special, you know, in a sense. Or it could be the opposite. So, next we have the Queen of Wands, which is fire energy. So, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius you could be dealing with. So, this is you very much in your power. You have a lot of intuition and a very good inner voice that you do listen to, you know. Um... You are very much in your power. You're very grounded. You are very, you're, you're a type of, you're sort of magnetic. You know, you do attract a lot of people into your life. A lot of people find you, you know, very attractive. But it's not that you're just attractive on the outside. You're, you're attractive inside as well. So you're, you're a very nice, giving, loving and caring person. But, you know, there was lots of potential um, within you, lot, you have lots of inspiration um, and a good sense about people. Um, you're very good at figuring people out. And, um, you know, there's there's a lot of potential um, for you to, to, um, to have some very good positive outcomes, you know, in the near future because you, you have that get up and go that kind of that kind of spirit within you that wants to live life to its fullest you know and make the most of what you've got then we have a manger a karna card the justice card the justice card is all about resolution finding balance you know you want you know, and, and it could be about um, karma being served. So, you know, it's very possible that um, you may have had a, a bad experience or you might you might be coming out of a very bad experience um, in February, you know, um, maybe with an ex, you know, um, or it could be, you know, with with friends, you know, someone you've fallen out with, but you, you want justice and balance for yourself, you know. Um, and you're making sure, you know, that whatever decision you come to, you know, you, you want you want to make sure that the way you act and um, and conduct yourself is fair to others and as well as yourself, you know, especially to yourself, you know, and and most of all, you want the truth because you, you like I said, you've got a very good inner voice and you know when someone's not really being exactly truthful to you you know it you know it could be they're not being truthful about the way they feel about you it it, it could be um maybe uh, the truth about what they've been doing you know what what you know what they've been playing at what they've been getting up to behind your back but either way you want a fair outcome you want something that's balanced you want you want the truth And next we have the Two of Pentacles, which is Earth energy. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but, you know, you have maybe in February, you know, it, it could be that you needed to um, either end a relationship. You might be doing that or you, you've, you've been thinking about things because this relationship you don't feel it's been a very balanced relationship. It's all been kind of one-sided. It's you've been doing a lot of 
the work within this relationship, giving a lot of your, of you, you know, emotionally, physically, mentally, you know, um, and you not really feel like you've been getting it back in, in, in equal measure, you know, you feel like um, there is definitely an imbalance within this relationship and, and obviously that's why you felt the need to not just speak speak your truth and, and tell this person how you feel, you know, it's possible that that's, that's what you could be doing in February, you know, uh, feeling the need to actually speak up for yourself and now, because you want to be treated fairly, you know, you want a balanced relationship. So it's either that or you have been thinking about things and been thinking about how unbalanced this relationship has been. But, you know, you feel like, you know, for for this to continue, this, this has got to be a more equal kind of relationship for both of you. Next, we have the Nine of Swords, which is air energy. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. So this is you in your head, thinking things over and over, not being able to sleep at night and very upset, depressed and feeling down and overanalyzing perhaps you know um looking at every minor detail and sometimes you know um it's not always good to focus on every action you know on all your actions because you know it's not you that's that's at fault here you know it, it's this person that's not being fair to you that's um created an imbalance within your relationship you know but this is a kind of cycle that you are going through you know and um it could be that you are nearing the end of of this particular cycle you know you ain't come to an end it might be that you know uh, in february you could be you could find yourself going through this you know a lot of a lot of pain and um, a lot of self-blame which obviously you know we all do tend to do at first we we pick fault in ourselves and um, when it's not our fault you know you remember you're not always responsible for other people's actions you know then next we have the page of cups so it might be that the person um, that you're having a few problems with um, could be coming to you, you know, with a bit of an apology. It, it's not a massive apology, but it is it is an apology, you know, and it might be, it might not just be an apology, it might be um, the person realising that yes, they've not treated you really fairly, and um you know they they may be declaring that they do love you they they do want to be with you and um you know not to give up on them and yeah although this person might not be completely mature emotionally this person does feel you know is capable of 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 showing love you know and and being loving and you know it might have taken you know you to speak the truth to you know draw draw to this person's attention the fact that they want treating you fairly and and they prob they might realize this and in february at some point you could find yourself you know expecting um a bit of an apology it might not be uh, a great big grand gesture you know um an overflowing declaration of love but it's someone recognizing that you know that they're at fault and um offering you a bit of an apology and and also saying uh, telling you that they do love you and that they do want to you know be with you still and Cups energy is Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So you could be dealing one, with one of those signs. 
and it might be the case with the seven of pentacles earth energy capricorn taurus virgo that they're willing also they're also going to perhaps tell you that they're willing to put in the work and that they've recognized that you have put in a lot of hard work and that perhaps they haven't been taking this relationship seriously you know and um you know um and showing you the love that they should have and um and they they might it might be that they are making maybe certain promises or or just stating that they're going to try harder they're going to work at it with you to try and create stability within the relationship you know and hopefully you know see whether your partnership your relationship can grow and flourish because you've worked very hard at this relationship you've put in every thinking you know obviously you were waiting to to reap the benefits of that you know you thought that you thought that this was leading somewhere to stability so you know it's nice to know perhaps that this person you know as has come around and realized in time that you know perhaps they want giving you the time and effort that you deserved you know and so that and they're willing to finally work at it next we have a manger arcana card the high priestess so with the high priestess you are very your intuition is very high like i said you have a lot of intuition and it might be that it's um very much um at its highest point at the moment for you um especially with venus moving into pisces um so it could be that you've got very a lot of high intuition and you have a lot of self-awareness and like I said you've got a lot of you've got a very good inner voice and this is you you know thinking about yes you do want something that is balanced you know that's fair for both of you and this is what you're making sure that this person is aware of that so you know you could find yourself ultimately you know this card you know, you, you speak your truth and you, you tell this person how you really feel, you know, and what you want from this relationship. I mean, like I said, you know, this is a card where your intuition is very high. You know people and you, you, you also, you can suss people out so you know when they're being genuine and when they're not being genuine. You have a, a lot of emotional maturity, you know, this person might not have that emotional maturity that you have but you're very much in your power and you're ready to tell this person that they need to knuckle down and be fair treat you fairly and put in as much effort into this relationship as you as you do so let's reveal this card we have the seven of wands which is fire energy so aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with so this this perhaps is you you know you have had a lot of struggles you know a lot of a lot of problems that you've had to overcome you know within this relationship you know you've worked hard and this card is showing you know that yes you there will be struggles you know and you will have to work very hard and fight your way through these fight for something that's that's worth 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 your time and effort fight to keep this relationship and that's what you've been doing because you know you have feelings for this person so you haven't really you know given up entirely although you know you're not going to be taken for a fool and you're not going to be treated less than 100 percent, and that's why you felt the need to stand your ground to fight for yourself and to stick up for yourself to get the balance and the fair outcome that you deserve within this relationship so let's see 
what nature's whispers has to offer into the mix. So, got number 23, you are worth it, and you certainly are. You, you need to realise that you, you know, that there, you have self-value, self, you know, self-worth, you know, um, and it, and it says, you know, it's, it's all about respecting yourself, you know, um, and if you respect yourself in order, you know, to, that by speaking the truth, you're, you're showing that you're finally respecting yourself, you know, and if you respect yourself, then you get the, you'll get that respect back from others, you know, um, cause you're worth it, you know, and people will see your sense of self value, your self love. And I mean, sometimes walking away from a relationship for, from things that no longer serve you is okay. You know, it's okay to do that. So the actions you take are entirely up to you, but don't forget to love yourself first and respect yourself. Then next we have inner truths, inner truths. So inner truth is all about understanding your feelings and your desires, you know. So, you know, you're looking into what you really want, you know, um, what you really desire out of this relationship, you know, and when you look into your heart and listen to that inner voice, then your path becomes more clear, you know? You have to stay vigilant, you know, and and really listen to what your inner voice is telling you, what your heart is telling you, you know? Um, continue to work hard, this card is encouraging you to do, you know, and don't forget to Go with your heart. Go with how what you really want, and listen to that inner voice. Then we, with the romance angels, it's saying, release your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy. So it could be that in February, February for some of you, this situation may not work out it may not you may not get the outcome that you desire because like i said this person you know this person although this person's offering a little cup of love this this person's not really emotionally mature like you are you know and it they might be the case that they're not quite ready to settle down you know and it, and it all you know it could also be the case that you 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 find the actions of this person towards you throughout this relationship, you know, unforgivable. That you know this, you know, you know you're worth far more. You know that you that you are worth being treated no less than one hundred percent. And maybe you've looked into your heart, deep into your heart, and realised that this is not going to work for you. So for those of you that don't want to give your person a chance in February, then you know you could be letting go of of it you know this this energy because you don't feel that uh, this person is putting in enough effort that is giving you enough time and attention that is serious enough even and finally we have give your relationship a chance so obviously for some of you it could be that you are that that you will take a chance on this person that Although this person may not be, like I said, as emotionally mature as you, or maybe um, completely, you know, in, in it 100%, you might feel that there is something worth fighting for, worth, worth saving, you know. So for some of you, you will really put your heart and soul in trying to, you know, revive and renew this relationship and make it work for you so good luck with that capricorn whatever way whatever choice you make for yourselves in february good luck you know and if, it, if you have to let go of that person 
then you know you have to do what's best for you and if you decide to give give it one more chance then good luck to you so capricorn thank you for joining me for this general love reading and i wish you all the best and please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also please subscribe to my channel it's free to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget i am doing personal readings so if you'd like to purchase one from me all the details are on in the description below this video and finally thank you for joining me here for this general love reading capricorn and i will see you very soon capricorn bye